Got tested and turns out I got COVID. So we immediately threw the kitchen sink at it. All kinds of meds, monoclonal antibodies, uh, ivermectin. Here we are on Wednesday and I feel great. I really only had one bad day. Good evening and welcome to our smear campaign against Joe Rogan. The mainstream media and the authoritarians that control it are absolutely losing their minds over Joe Rogan's statement that you just heard. Getting this sickness and easily overcoming it with treatments that we don't profit off of is not only irresponsible and disobedient, but it's probably also causing climate change. Now some right-wing conspiracy theorists might be saying, but isn't it a good thing if someone overcomes this sickness quickly and returns to health? Absolutely not. That's not what we're about. So scientifically speaking, we can unequivocally say Joe Rogan is a bad guy. As the comedian was trying to hurt people by giving them helpful information, Rogan's Instagram video has been viewed more than 6 million times. And by our estimates, it's directly caused more than 11 billion deaths. Out of the few who have lived through Joe Rogan's sharing of his personal health, Let's hear from a couple who have been most affected by it. Joe Rogan hurt my feelings by recovering so fast because I wanted him to get sicker. I just want to protect all people because I love them so much. And I hope Joe Rogan dies. It's my body, my choice. Yeah, Joe Rogan has no business doing what he wants with his body because it's my choice. Joe Rogan is a misinformation supremacist. Wow, that looked like it was all the same person and with very level-headed perspectives, I might add. Joe Rogan is clearly trying to get people killed by encouraging them to use critical thinking. Meanwhile, here at the media, we're trying to save people by preventing them from using critical thinking, while pressuring them to inject themselves with drugs that may or may not be right for them. Just like how the New York Times published an article discouraging people from using critical thinking. To be clear, the drug Joe Rogan treated himself with is not safe to take. And also please notice how we at the media refuse to call it by its actual name. Instead, we only refer to it as a horse deworming drug in an effort to manipulate your mind into thinking it's a stupid thing to take. With a little help from our brainwashing, you'll think, well, I am not a horse. I do not have worms. I'm a human, so I'm more sophisticated than a horse. Therefore, I should not take this horse deworming drug. That's what we're getting your mind to think, because you're easier to manipulate than a horse. You have to really work with horses. They're smart animals. And if the comedian's murderous rampage of sharing that he's doing well wasn't gruesome enough, just one day after posting his video, he posted that he's working out and feeling great. Joe Rogan is clearly trying to get people killed by inspiring them to work out. Pictured as the kettlebell that he was probably just using to club babies in the head with. Contrary to all Joe Rogan's misinformation based on truth, an Oklahoma news outlet reported on a doctor, Jason McCallier, who said he has seen Oklahoma emergency rooms being overrun by people overdosing on the horse deworming drug. So much so that gunshot victims couldn't even get into the emergency room. The story smearing the horse deworming drug was happily picked up and published by both the Associated Press and Rolling Stone, amongst others. And then the whole story was found out to be false. Nothing about it was true. An Oklahoma hospital that this fine doctor had previously worked for had this to say. Dr. McKellier has not worked at our location in over two months. NAH Sequoia has not treated any patients due to complications related to taking the horse deworming drug. This includes not treating any patients for horse deworming drug overdose. All patients who have visited our emergency room have received medical attention as appropriate. I wonder if this line doctor and Fauci went to the same medical school together. Then the never incorrect Associated Press had to publish a correction to their claim that 70% of all calls to Oklahoma's Poison Control Center were about the horse deworming drug. As Rolling Stone, the Associated Press, and many other mainstream news outlets published this false story built entirely out of misinformation, 
The fact checkers felt no need to censor or correct any of the false statements. I wonder why. And before the truth came out, leftists flooded Twitter seemingly celebrating the emergency rooms in Oklahoma being overrun with people overdosing on the horse deworming medication. And with Twitter's strong commitment to fighting misinformation, they did not censor any of it, even now after the story has been proven unequivocally false. But don't worry, Twitter does not have any political motivations, so you can continue trusting them to determine what's true and what's in your best interest. In other news, Twitter allows the Taliban to be on its platform to spread its ideologies, while Twitter has the 45th president of the United States banned from using its platform. The Taliban, who is currently hunting down Americans to torture and murder them, is grateful to be on Twitter as it helps their cause. And Twitter is happy to have them as a loyal user. With our attempt to sway Joe Rogan listeners with the Oklahoma lie that got found out, what we can tell you is it's no longer safe to listen to Joe Rogan's podcast as we've discovered a new variant that only passes through the audio waves of his podcast. Look for a new audio distancing from JRE mandate to be announced soon. But just when you thought you were safe, just days after making the outrageous claim that he's feeling good, the homicidal comedian posted a picture of his negative COVID test proving he beat the sickness and now has natural immunity. As natural immunity is now the most politically incorrect thing since logic, we'll have no choice but to continue slandering Rogan into cancellation for as long as it takes. Lord knows we've already tried using the transphobic model of cancellation on him, so we're hoping the anti-vaxxer model of cancellation on him will be successful. If not, in the near future, please look for a Joe Rogan is a white supremacist headline coming to some propaganda near you. On that note, just recently the anti-vaxxer, anti-hair comedian posted a photo of him repeatedly shooting a target with arrows. As you can see, it was not a white target, which explains why he was shooting it. Now, as we bring tonight's top story to a close, we conclude that Joe Rogan's information about his good health is too damaging to other people's health because of science and other data that peasants like you are too stupid to understand. That's it for tonight. We'll continue to psychologically manipulate you in order to discourage you from treating your health in ways that are damaging to our profits while pressuring you into being obedient with our business model. Good night. Thank you for watching this video, but before you go, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Primal Life Organics and their red blue LED light teeth whitening system. <laughs> Have you ever thought, man, I would like to be more beautiful because quite honestly, like we're not living up to our beauty potential are we? Now, short of having facial reconstructive surgery that people like me need in order to improve your beauty, one thing that is absolutely under your control with intensifying your beauty is whitening your smile. And there's a way to do that that will literally bring a smile to your face. And that is with Primal Life Organics. Because studies show people literally think you're more beautiful when you have white teeth with your smile. People are 90% more likely to get a second date. People are more likely to get hired for the job and they're more likely to land a higher paying salary when they have white teeth. But you might be thinking like, oh, whitening in my smile, I don't really know how to do that. And there's so many products to choose from. And I've heard like some of the products are actually bad for your teeth. Problem is all that's true. But the good news is there's an easy solution that I love. It's the only teeth whitening system that I use and that's Primal Life Organics Red Blue LED Light Teeth Whitening System. There's a few reasons why this is the only teeth whitening system I use. One, it's effective, it works. Two, most of the other systems out there are actually damaging to your teeth. They usually contain harmful peroxides that while they whiten your teeth, they actually damage the enamel of your teeth. Uh, to me, that's insane. That's like taking one step forward to improve your smile, but three steps backwards. But Primal Life Organics is completely safe and natural and very compatible with a healthy lifestyle as a way of improving your smile. It utilizes blue LED light to whiten your teeth along with a food grade teeth whitening gel and the red light 
helps reduce your inflammation and soothe your gums. If you want to join me in living up to your beauty potential by whitening your smile, you can grab your Primal Life Organics teeth whitening system at naturalteethwhiteners.com slash JP. And because you're a viewer of mine, at that link, you get a full 60% off. That'll bring a smile to your face.